pleasure to be here. Uh, I actually remember that day. Gilbert High School, Mark came by. Uh, Matt, uh, let's be real as I am getting old myself, so uh, it's not good. It's also weird. You look around the room and it felt like you were a rookie coach just yesterday, and now you're, you're one of the more seasoned veteran guys in the room. So it, it makes me step back and realize I'm, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. Um, now, last year, last year was a great season. The biggest thing at Concord University we got to realize is it was last year. It was last season. We haven't made one play. We haven't won one game next year. And, and we're picked first to win the league. And um, first of all, thanks to you coaches for giving us that line. If that's a way, to us, that's just a sign of respect for what we accomplished last season. If that's all it is. As far as overall where we rank and where we stand, we're all level right now. Like I said, no one's won a game, no one's lost a game. And kind of picking back up what Mommy said, uh, I'm, I thought Reed may have gotten upset with me last year, but I was waving the flag for the conference as, as loud and as strong as anyone last year. So was, we played Westchester, Bloomsburg, two PSAC teams, two were good football teams. But <coughs> Charleston and Shepard should have beat us a lot more easily than those two teams should have. And uh, we felt that the Charleston game and the Shepard game were by far our hardest games last year, other than the, the game we lost naturally. But um, it's a very, very strong league. I think with the addition of a 17, it will help two of the coaches behind this podium get in this season. Hopefully, that's what we can accomplish by doing that. And, and hopefully, it's Concord. But if it's not, and it's two other guys, then we'll be cheering and be the biggest fans of anyone. As far as the outlook of, of where we think we're going, our expectations. Uh, I'm a I'm an eternal optimist. We, we could be listed 11th on the, on the board, and, and I would think we're going to go all the way. So that's just who I am by nature. Uh, I expect to win every game, as, as does everyone. Um, offensively, we return, we return all of our skill. But we're very fortunate and blessed. We've had a lot of production offensively. Uh, we lose three starters off the offensive line, but I'm returning four starters with 10 plus starts. So I feel that we'll be OK in that room. Uh, if not, we'll just have to fire the offensive line. Coach. Inside joke because I'm the offensive line coach. So. Um, defensively, we lose our defensive line. Uh, that's going to be a big question mark, uh, similar to what Pat was talking about. We've got we've got guys in the house that I think will be able to step up and, and answer or ring that bell, but they haven't done it yet. We haven't seen those guys do it. Um, so that we're going to have to step up and do a great job there. Linebackers should be a strength of our, our defense. Everyone's returning uh, from that linebacker room. Uh, Austin Dotson should be the, the key cog in the middle of what we're doing defensively. In the secondary, we return two starters. Uh, so pretty status quo what, we, what we've got. Uh, Derek Johnson, Jeremiah Johnson, I guess the Johnson Cousins, or whatever we're calling. They're, uh, they're guys that we like. They're guys we like, guys that had great years last season. Uh, special teams wise, got our kicker back. Andy was first team on conference. We return our punter. And we finally have a long snapper. That, that, we think in house, so that was something we're always nervous going into every single week. But uh, the biggest thing, and to echo again, this is a great league. This is a great league that, that you have to show up for. We we were 13-1 last year and, and had a great year, but again, we were two plays from being where Charleston was at and, and just barely missing. And so the same example, Charleston was two plays from being where we were at. So uh, there's a lot of parity. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of times you just have to show up every week. There's no more gimmies, and that's a good sign, and that's a credit to Reed and his staff for really putting together a great conference that week in and week out we can be proud of. And um, and we can move forward. We know that whoever wins this league will compete on a national level uh, in November and December. So thank you guys for your time. Again, coaches, thanks for the number one rating. Uh, we'll we'll uh, appreciate it for now, but we know week one that goes out to win. Thank you.